It was a record year for entries to the awards. Um, we've never had so many entries ever before. Uh, and I'm not so sure we're going to get that figure again this year, but uh, uh, you know, we're getting it toward, towards it. Not too, not, it's not doing too badly. And as ever, the standard was fantastic. Original stories, beautifully presented in either single or multi-platform formats, using all the skills you students have learnt on your courses. Not frightened either of tackling some really tough stories, and that was particularly gratifying. Each year we award uh, uh, a certificate for excellence in teaching of broadcast journalism and another for innovation in uh, uh, teaching broadcast journalism. The innovation one becoming more interesting, obviously, because of the massive changes that are taking place in the industry and being reflected back into the training. So, uh, the first for innovation goes to Winchester University and to Chris Horry. continuing from year two is working on the university uh, on, on the course website uh, which is highly developed and and very interactive and works extremely well the principle of getting the kids working on that so early I, we thought actually deserved some kind of recognition having been on a course that's BJTC accredited is important if you can say that you particularly if you worked on the project that, that won the award I think that's very important as well I think it's important for people applying for jobs at organizations like the BBC to emphasize the positive to talk about the kind of course you're on the kind of experience you've got the kind of uh, practical broadcasting that you're doing because an awful lot of people are applying for every BBC job that there is and you've got to work really hard to make sure that your application stands out so this is all part of it there's a lot of very well established courses that are competing for these awards, so they're not just nominal awards, they're actually very well, very hard earned and very well deserved. The world of journalism changes all the time, but what's absolutely certain is that someone coming into the world of journalism, particularly broadcast journalism now, has got to be multi-skilled. You can no longer say, I just work in television and I'm just going to be a reporter. That simply isn't tenable anymore. So someone that can come in and demonstrate that they can do a variety of jobs, they've got a variety of skills across radio, across television, across online, across all of journalism, they're putting themselves at a distinct advantage. Congratulations on the award, very well deserved, and it's nice to see one of the newer courses that's accredited by the BJTC doing so well. So when I came to see your course at Winchester, I was very impressed that when I walked into your college classroom it looked like a proper working newsroom, just as I would see in a professional environment. So that to me was excellent. Well obviously employers very much want uh, their new young entrants and, and their first jobs to have the practical everyday experience of working on chasing news stories and producing them as fast as possible basically, and as accurately as possible obviously. That to employers is as important as the theory um, that obviously you have to do at university as well. Just, uh, just shortly before I visited uh, Winchester Uni, you had all been working on the UK general election which was a great opportunity for you journalism students to be able to work on election story and never before had I known any college to send their students out to so many various points um, and work as proper journalists on, on the election. Um, some of the other courses I have visited which are very good and turn out um, journalists of great standard um, are obviously far more um, theory and lecture based so that was possibly the difference that um, I think your, your course at Winchester offers. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, another year of awards, another year of superb stories, uh, superb achievement, um, and you know, standing for everything that we hope the BJT stands for. Um, I hope that uh, I'll be involved in next year's judging as well, because it really was a pleasure looking at some of the work we've seen this year, and uh, I congratulate you all again on achieving such brilliant coverage of fantastic stories. <laughs>